Oh, there's some metal thing. <laughs> you want me to bang the hammer? Get attention, yeah. Is that better? See, okay. look it. All right. They hushed up right away. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being here tonight. We are going to go ahead and get started with agenda item number one, which is our roll call and our pledge. So, um, would you please call the roll? Oh. <laughs> I'm, <all good>. <laughs> yeah. I'm new at this. That's okay. <laughs> Adamson? Here. Gray? Cheatham? Here. Lurick? Ortega? Here. Stevens? Here. Glad? Okay, now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing. We'll now have a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Okay, agenda item number three is our consent agenda. The following business items may be approved by one motion and a vote. If any one council member so desires, any matter listed can be moved to a separate agenda item. A is the treasurer's report. Council may wish to consider the treasurer's report for August showing cash and investments as of August 31st, 2020. Good evening, Council. Ashley Welsh, Chief Financial Officer. Tonight I'm presenting the treasurer's report for the month of August 2020. Total cash and cash equivalents of city monies are $66,463,446 and total long-term investments are $5,141,588 for an overall total of $71,605,033. This amount is down $2,106,262 for the month of August. On page two of the report, we have highlighted key receipts for the month. The Transit Rural Fund received $19,571 for state grants for June Capital. We received $44,828 for cable franchise fees, which were down 5.9% compared to the previous year. The Transit Urban Fund received $150,579 for July federal grants. We also received $173,000 $126 for Idaho State Liquor Tax Remittance, which is up 13.58% from the previous year. And the airport received grants of $1,791,030. The remaining section details the net change in cash and long-term investments for the city. Page three of the report is for trust funds. The trust funds had total cash and cash equivalents of $1,982,000. $470 and total long-term investments of $2,375,716 for an overall total of $4,358,186. Total cash receipts for the month were $130,183 and total cash disbursements were $51,064. We had a net change in long-term investments of 120, a decrease of $128,889 for an overall decrease in the trust funds of $49,770. The next page lists all the funds cash balances with their respective change for the month. Page five is discussion and analysis for your review. And lastly, we have the five-year trend of cash balances. This report continues to reflect a very strong cash position for the city. And I'm just gonna go over some of the negative funds. Transit Urban Fund is um, negative $481,146, which is pending grants. Fleet Management is negative $25,657 um, pending billings to be processed. And then the WPC and Water Debt Service Funds are also negative. Those are due to um, payments that were made in August and we just need to transfer the money over from the Water and WPC Fund to cover that. And also CDBG is negative $523,907, which is just pending grant reimbursement. This complete my, completes my report. Are there any questions? 
think you like it. Thanks, Ashley. B, Animal Shelter Advisory Board reappointment. Council may wish to confirm the mayor's reappointment of Roseanne Vigueras to continue her service as a member of the Animal Shelter Advisory Committee. Ms. Vigueras' term will begin September 22nd, 2020 and will expire September 22nd, 2022. C, Council decision annexing approximately 7.56 acres of land located at the east end of Vista Drive. Council may wish to adopt its decision to approve the annexation of a parcel of land comprised of approximately 7.56 acres owned by B Street Investments, LLC. The parcel is located at the east end of Vista Drive and will be zoned residential medium density single family RMS with a comprehensive plan designation of residential. D, council decision, approval of zoning designation amendment and amendment to the comprehensive plan land use map for 34.33 acres of land located west of Olympus Drive. Council may wish to adopt its decision to approve the request by H7 Ventures LLC to amend the zoning designation of approximately 34.33 acres of land located within the Northgate development area, north of the crossings division two subdivision and west of Olympus from commercial general CD to residential commercial professional RCP and to amend the comprehensive plan land use plan from commercial to mixed use. Madam President. Yes, council member Cheetah. I would move to approve agenda item number three, our consent agenda. Second. We have a motion by Cheatham and a second by Ortega. Would you please call the roll? Cheatham? Yes. Ortega? Yes. Stevens? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Okay, agenda item number four, communications and proclamations. We do not have any tonight. Agenda item number five is our calendar review. Council may wish to take this opportunity to inform other council members of upcoming meetings and events that should be called to their attention. Looks like um, upcoming council meetings we have on October 1st, our 5.30 clarification meeting and our 6 p.m. regular council meeting. Then on October 8th, we will have a 9 a.m. work session. Additionally, Oktoberfest at Zoo Idaho will be on October 3rd from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. And as a reminder, um, early voting at Bannock County Elections Office begins on September 28th. Social distancing will be enforced. Contact IdahoVotes.gov for more information or to request a mail-in ballot. Um, also, to let you know, Zoo Idaho is open on weekends only until October 31st, and face coverings are required in all city government facilities. Okay, agenda item number six is a public hearing proposed fiscal year 2020 budget amendments. This time has been set aside for the council to hear comments from the public regarding proposed fiscal year 2020 budget amendments. An ordinance has been prepared for council's consideration under agenda item 12. Okay. I declare the public hearing open. Will the applicant please, well, it's Ashley. <laughs> All right, Ashley Wells, Chief Financial Officer. The 2020 budget adopted in August of 2019 was developed with anticipated grants and estimated revenues. The council elects to adopt a restrictive budget and amend in detail for unplanned revenues and expenses. Tonight, the Finance Department is requesting additional budget authority for expenditures related to unforeseen revenues and expenses in the general fund, street fund, recreation fund, airport fund, library fund, science and environment fund, sanitation fund, Ambulance Fund, Wellness Fund, Federal Aid Projects Fund, Airport Construction Fund, CDBG Fund, and the Zoo Trust Fund. The additional authority is needed for travel and meals, miscellaneous costs, professional services, supplies, repairs and maintenance, transfers, grants, and various capital projects. The revenue is provided by reimbursements, sponsorships, bond claims, trade-ins, grants, donations, and reserves. The total for all the amendments is $2,066,941. This amendment process began with the two required public notices on September 2nd and September 9th in the Idaho State Journal. No action will be taken at the end of the public hearing. Then at the end of tonight's meeting, the council will consider the amended ordinance. This concludes my presentation. Okay, thank you, Ashley. Mm -hmm. Has there been any uh, written correspondence submitted um, for the record? Um, all right, we will now hear public testimony, and if anyone wishes to comment, if you could please come over to the green table and um, stand at this microphone. So we'll first hear from those supporting the application. 
OK, anyone uncommitted to the application? OK, any opposed to the application? OK, all right, Ashley, I'm guessing you don't need to refute any of the <laughs> comments. So I declare the public hearing closed. Um, Council, this is before you. What is the pleasure of the group? Um, the action will actually take oh, place. Oh, yes, you told me that already. That's I'm okay. so sorry. I That's just all was right. That's <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay, so we will now move on to our next agenda item, which is agenda item seven public hearing zoning map amendment request for the 200 block of North 6th Avenue. This time has been set aside for the council to hear comments from the public regarding a request by Brandon Ratliff of LandQuest Development LLC represented by Rocky Mountain Engineering and Surveying to rezone property on the 200 block of North 6th Avenue located on lots one and two block 269 of the original town site overlay from commercial general to residential commercial professional. Okay. I declare the public hearing open. Council, have you had any um, ex parte contact that needs to be disclosed? Okay. Um, all right, you have 10 minutes for your presentation. All right, thank you. Good evening, council members. My name is Brady Smith with Rocky Mountain Engineering and Surveying, um, 600 East Oak Street, Pocatello, Idaho, here tonight representing the applicant, Brandon Ratliff, on this project. Um, I think this is uh, fairly straightforward, so I'll try to be fairly brief, but um, the big intent with this uh, development is our client has actually uh, began some work on some uh, multifamily development just across Lander, uh, directly across the street from this particular subject parcel, and uh, he would like to make this his own change to kind of uh, add to his overall plan for additional housing in this uh, particular area. Um, there is uh, many other uses of similar size and, and scope around us. Um, this particular parcel kind of falls in kind of uh, the commercially zoned area uh, currently. And uh, it, it just is so uh, close to where his other property is that it's really just kind of a matter of, of a line. Um, in the existing uh, comprehensive plan, there wouldn't be any uh, need for an amendment. Um, it is deemed mixed use, which both of the zones, both existing and the proposed zoning that we're looking for are allowed. Um, we feel that it, feel, it fits very well within the surrounding uses. There's a lot of multifamily development uh, around the subject parcel. Um, we would uh, be looking at this as more of an infill project. The current piece is just a accessory uh, parking lot right now um, that's really not uh, doing much. It was a, a parking lot, I think, that was associated with the, uh, the auto group there, uh, Robert Allen, I think, at one time, and it's been other things since. Um, we'll have you know access to city utilities, um, I think we'll have an opportunity to provide some additional um, housing that would be beneficial for the area. And uh, we feel that it, it falls within a reasonable request, both with the comp plan and uh, the zoning that we're seeking is, is pretty much in line with the surrounding areas. Um, one thing that I had brought to my attention was there may have been some concern about the neighboring sixplex that would be right next door to this being a part of our project and that is not connected at all. Um, our, like I said, our parcel, the other neighboring parcel across Lander to the, I guess the west, um, is is in the, the same zone that we're going for. So those would be kind of a, a joint project, but we would have no uh, relationship with the neighbor to the, to the east. So with that, I would just ask for your uh, consideration for approval and I would be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Anyone have a question for Brady? Okay, thank you very much, Brady. We will now hear from our city staff. Good evening, uh, 
Council President Addison and Council Members, Matthew Lewis, Senior Planner with the City. As previously noted, Brandon Ratliff, represented by RMES, has submitted a zoning map amendment application to rezone lots one and two, block 269 of the original town site, or entailing 8,440 square feet, more or less, from the existing commercial general to residential commercial professional. The proposed zone change does not require amendment to the comprehensive uh, plan land use map as the parcels are currently designated mixed use, which corresponds to the RCP zoning. The property in question is located in the original Pocatel town site and is currently being used a, as an accessory parking lot. Napkin is proposing to construct a fourplex with all street parking on the subject lots. This is not out of character with the adjacent land uh, to the south, which is consistent or which has uh, residential uses as well. The area in general is a mix of commercial, multifamily, and single family residential. Based on the findings of fact submitted and herein attached, uh, the Planning and Zoning Commission concludes that the proposed zoning map amendment is compliant with Hotel Municipal Code Section 1702.170 and therefore recommends approval of the request with the conditions outlined. No written comments have been received to date. One phone call was received uh, and this concludes my presentation. If you're happy to answer any questions you may have. Matt, has there been any um, written correspondence that you received? No council. Okay. Any other questions for me? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. We will now have a public testimony. Um, anyone supporting the application? Come forward. Anyone uncommitted to the application? Anyone opposed to the application? All right, anything else you want to say, Brady? Okay. All right, I declare the public hearing closed. Council, how do you wish to proceed? Um, I move that, wait, let me get back to the. <laughs> I move that we approve. I can't read it because it's not up but um, that we approve agenda item seven. Is it seven? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Uh, the, the zoning change amendment request for the 200 block of North 6th Avenue um, pending uh, compliance with all the recommendations of staff and legal review and et cetera, et cetera. Second. Okay, we have Thank a motion you. by Ortega and a second by Cheatham. Connie, please call the roll. Ortega? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Stevens? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Okay, we will move to agenda item number eight, Airport Origami Art Display Viceline Foundation Grant Agreement Number Two. Council may wish to approve and authorize the mayor to sign a grant application and agreement if awarded, as well as any other pertinent documents for a grant application to the Viceline Foundation in the amount of $20,000 toward funding the Origami <coughs> Art Display inside the airport terminal subject to legal department review. This grant does not require matching funds. Madam President. Yes. I move for approval of agenda item number eight, the airport origami art display uh, application to the Viceline Foundation grant and to authorize the mayor to sign the grant application and agreement if the uh, agreement, uh, the grant application is approved, all subject to legal department review. Second. We have a motion by Cheatham and a second by Stevens. Connie, please call the roll. Cheatham? Yes. Stevens? Yes. Ortega? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Agenda item number nine, qualification-based selection of architectural services, booth architecture. Council may wish to accept the recommendations of staff and award the procurement of architectural services to booth architecture in the amount of $39,700 for the design of a new fuel <laughs> site, car wash infrastructure, and parking lot reconfiguration at 2405 Garrett Way, subject to legal review. 
the fuel site construction project was approved by City Council on June 18th, 2020. Yes. Madam Chairman, Chairwoman, <laughs> I move that we accept the recommendation of staff and award the procurement of architectural services to Booth Architecture in the amount of $39,700 uh, to design the new fuel site um, pending all necessary legal review. Second. We have a motion by Stevens and a second by Cheatham. Connie, please call the roll. Stevens? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Ortega? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Agenda item number 10, ratification of IFT Foundation grant application and acceptance for Old Town Greenway improvements. Council may wish to approve the following requests related to improvements to the Portniff Greenway in Old Town. <clears throat> a, ratify a $10,000 IFT Foundation <clears throat> grant application which had a due date for submission of August 15th, 2020. And if the grant is awarded, B, acceptance of the grant and authorize the mayor's signature on documents related to the grant subject to legal review. There is no city match requirement for this grant. Madam Chair. Yes. I move for approval of agenda item number 10, the ratification of the IF Foundation grant application and the acceptance if it is approved and also authorize the mayor to sign all documents related to the grant subject to legal department review. Second. We have a motion by Cheatham, second by Stevens. Connie, please call the roll. Cheatham? Yes. Stevens? Yes. Ortega? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Agenda item number 11, custodial contract with Hawks Janitorial Parks and Rec Community Rec Center. <clears throat> Council may wish to consider approving an ongoing cleaning contract with Hawks Janitorial in the amount of $3,000 per month for janitorial services at the Community Recreation Center. Hawks Janitorial will replace the current cleaning company, New Day Products, beginning October 3rd, subject to legal department review. Funds are available in the fiscal year 2021 budget. Madam President. Yes. Um, I move that we approve agenda item number 11, the custodial contract with Hawks Janitorial Parks and Rec Community Recreation Center um, in the amount of $3,000 a month and pending all the necessary legal department reviews. Second. We have a motion by Ortega and a second by Cheatham. Connie, please call the roll. Ortega. Yes. Cheatham. Yes. Stevens. Yes. Adamson? Yes. All right, agenda item number 12 is an ordinance. Um, okay, sorry, I have to get to the right place. Uh, we have an ordinance approving an amendment to the fiscal year 2020 appropriations ordinance, increasing the total fiscal year expenditures by $2,006,900. <laughs> sorry. I'm looking at too many numbers on my screen. To account for additional revenues, including grant funds received by the city and to use previously unappropriated cash balances for unanticipated expenses incurred by the city. As a reminder, the whole ordinance needs to be published. Council, how do you wish to have the ordinance read? Madam Chair, I would move the ordinance agenda item number 12 be read only by title and placed on final passage for publication and that the entire ordinance sheet be submitted for publication. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Cheatham, second by Ortega. Connie, please call the roll. Cheatham? Yes. Ortega? Yes. Stevens? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Okay, Jared, will you please read the ordinance? <clears throat> yes. An ordinance of the City of Pocatello, a municipal corporation of Idaho, amending ordinance number 3034, the appropriation ordinance for the fiscal period October 1, 2019 through September 30, 2020, providing for an increase in expenditures in the general fund, street fund, recreation fund, airport fund, library fund, science and environment fund, sanitation fund, ambulance fund, employee wellness fund, street federal aid fund, airport improvement fund, CDBG fund, and Zoo Improvement Fund, which increases the total fiscal year expenditures by $2,006,941, providing that the revenue to pay for said increases shall be derived from grants, unexpected revenues, and previously unappropriated cash balances, providing that all other portions of appropriation ordinance number 3034, not herein previously amended in ordinance number 3040, 
and ordinance number 3041 shall remain in full force and effect provided that this ordinance shall be in full force and effect from and after its passage approval and publication according to law okay i declare that to be the final reading of the ordinance shall the ordinance pass Cheatham? yes ortega yes stevens yes adamson yes don't have anyone that's signed up. Oh, that's right. We don't have anybody that's signed up for agenda item number 13. So with that, we are adjourned. Thank you.